Welcome to the Phone Suite Console Training Series. These videos are organized to allow you to view the entire series in five short lessons, or to jump to or view only the sections you need to to begin using the console. This is Lesson 3, Basic Guest Settings and Functions. Other lessons are getting to know your Phone Suite Console, Basic Call Handling, Advanced Call Handling, and Advanced Guest Settings and Functions. This lesson assumes you are familiar with the layout of the console, explained in the previous lesson. Most of the guest settings and features you'll use are located on the feature buttons in the middle of the console. Let's do a quick overview, starting from the top left. The Check In and Out button is used only to override the Property Management System's automated Check In and Out settings, or if your phone suite system is not connected to the Check In and Out interface of a Property Management System. The next three buttons on the top row are used to enable or disable a guest room's phone's ability to make long distance, local, or room to room calls. The Do Not Disturb button ensures calls don't ring to the guest's phone. Instead, calls go straight to voicemail or ring as busy if no voicemail is in use. On the middle row at the left, the Message Waiting button is used to turn a phone's message lamp on or off, overriding the voicemail system's control of the message lamp. Check bill total displays a guest's current phone bill, but only if the internal call accounting is tracking and collecting guest phone bills. The clear voicemail button clears out a guest room voicemail box and also resets the greeting to the system default and clears any password the guest may have set on their voicemail box. Use clear extension features to reset a guest room phone setting, including do not disturb, message waiting, and call forwarding. The wake up calls button is used to set or clear the guest room wake up call. On the button row at left, the select extension button is used to display a specific extension settings on the button lamps. If the lamp is lit, that option is on or set. Select extension mode is invoked automatically whenever you are talking with a guest room phone using the console. The credit limit button is used to set a guest phone bill credit limit but only if calls are not being passed to the property management system computer for automatic addition to guest room bills. The print bill button is used to print a guest phone bill, but only if the internal call accounting system is being used to build and keep the guest phone bill. Status report is not guest room specific, but prints a report of all guest room status settings. This is useful for hotels that are using made status setting codes, but do not have a property management system room status interface connection. Finally, the night mode button will be blinking if the system is in night mode, or off if in day mode. Pressing this button toggles from day mode to night mode, and vice versa. With the exception of the final two buttons, these feature buttons are used to view or change settings for a specific phone or guest room. In order to view or change the settings, you must have an extension selected. If you call a guest room from the console, or answer a call from a guest room using the console, that guest room phone automatically becomes the selected extension and remains so as long as you are on the call. To select an extension for viewing or modifying settings when the console is not in use, press the bottom left select extension button and enter the extension number. You won't call that extension. It just loads that phone settings into the buttons so you can view what is set and what is not. Any feature button whose green lamp comes on is set or on. Good examples are the long distance or wake up call buttons. To change any of these settings, simply press the button for the setting you want to change. The console display will prompt you if any additional information is needed. But for most settings, pressing the button just toggles from off to on or on to off. If the console is not in use and you press a feature button without any extension selected, the console display will first jump to the select extension entry prompt in the console display. So you don't really need to press select extension first if you already know what setting you want to change. Check in slash out. To check in or out a guest, simply press the check in out button and then enter the room number extension of the guest. The display will then confirm whether the guest is currently checked in or out. To change the guest status, press 6 to check a guest in or 3 to check a guest out. Remember to press enter to confirm the status change or D to leave the setting as it is and exit to the console idle display. Long distance, local, and extension to extension calls. First press the select extension button and enter the extension of the guest who's calling permission you wish to change. Then look at the three call type permission buttons. If the button is lit, then calling of that type is enabled. 
To enable long distance calling, for example, press the long distance calls button. This will light the button and long distance calling is now enabled. Press D to leave the setting as it is and exit to the console idle display. Each of the other call type buttons function in the same way. Do not disturb. To prevent a guest phone from ringing and send all callers directly to the voicemail, press the select extension button and enter the guest extension. Next, press the do not disturb button. The guest is now in do not disturb mode. Press it again to turn the light off and clear do not disturb mode. Press D to leave the setting as it is and exit to the console idle display. Message waiting. To force the message waiting light to blink on a guest phone, press the select extension button and enter the guest extension number. Then press the message waiting button. This will cause the message waiting light on that guest phone to blink. Press it again to turn off the message waiting light. Press D to leave the setting as it is and exit to the console idle display. This feature is useful when hotel staff wish to drop in a custom voicemail message and alert the guest that a message is waiting. Check bill total. In many cases, Phone Suite calculates a cost for guest calls, but passes this information on to the hotel property management system computer and a guest phone charge information can be viewed in a property management system. However, Phone Suite does offer a call accounting card as an optional add-on. If this card is installed, the room's total call charges can be seen from the console. To view this information, press the select extension button. Enter the guest extension and then press the check bill total button. The display will now show the guest total calling charges. Press D to exit to the console idle display. Clear voicemail. The clear voicemail feature allows a console user to erase all voicemails for a particular guest. To perform this function, press the clear voicemail button and enter the guest extension, then press the clear voicemail button again. All voicemails and personal greetings for that extension will be cleared and the message waiting light will be turned off. Clear extension features. To clear a guest's do not disturb, call forwarding message waiting lamp and call on hold status, press the select extension button and enter the guest extension. Then press the clear extension features button to clear features from that extension. Wake up call. To set a wake up call for a guest, press the wake up call button and enter the guest extension. Next, the display will show what time the guest's wake-up call is scheduled for. If no wake-up call has been set, it will display HH semicolon MM. To enter a new wake-up call time, simply enter the time in military 24-hour format. For example, if a wake-up call of 8 a.m. is desired, enter 0800. If a call at 3 p.m. is needed, enter 1500, and then press pound to save. After entering the time, you can select the number of days the call will repeat by pressing a number between 1 and 9. If more than 9 days are required, enter an asterisk after the time, and the system will repeat the call until it is changed or until the guest checks out. Press pound to save these changes. To clear a wake-up call, press the C key when viewing the guest's wake-up call time. Credit Limits if the optional call accounting card is installed, a guest calling credit limit can be set using the credit limit button. To use this feature, press the credit limit button and enter the guest extension number. Next, enter the dollar amount of the credit limit, with a leading zero if less than $10, and then press pound to save. After each call ends, the system will calculate the cost of the call, and if the total cost for all calls exceeds, the guest will be unable to place any new calls. Note that this will not end a call in progress, so it is possible for a guest to exceed their credit limit. If 00, 00 is entered as the credit limit, it will set unlimited, untracked calling from that extension. Entering 99 will also allow unlimited calling, but will keep a billing record on the extension. Print Bill If the optional call accounting card is installed, a report of all calls can be printed for an extension on demand. To print this report, Press the print bill button and enter the extension number and this will immediately begin printing a report of that extension's calls including phone number dialed, call duration, and total call cost. Note that this bill is automatically printed when a guest is checked out. This feature simply allows early printing. Status Report This feature prints out a full report of all status settings for all extensions. To print this report, Press the status report button and then press the enter or pound key.
to cancel printing in progress, press the D key anytime during printing. Night Mode Night Mode can be used to play different greetings to callers and to route inbound calls differently. To place the system into Night Mode, simply press the Night Mode button. If this button is flashing, the system is already in Night Mode and can be exited by pressing the button again.